Okay, guys, so uh, I'm heading over to downtown Cincinnati to see what's the deal. Um, and I'm taking you guys along with me. Let's go. This is a really nice hotel. Uh, it's a Marriott by CBG where all our pilots stayed in. It's a great hotel. Nice folks, friendly around here. Nice lobby, good breakfast. This is my vehicle for the week. It's not bad for what it is. I need to get one of this. Keyless entries. It's great. Into uh, your car gets hacked and gets stolen. Okay, so the place we're going to is literally like downtown Cincinnati on the... Uh, uh, Ohio side and uh, it's about 19 minutes away and now uh, well yeah oh um Cincinnati is a really interesting city in terms of uh, it's a state line city which means that uh, it borders between um, two states and that is uh, Kentucky and Ohio Right now, we are located on the Kentucky side. Oh, that's another, that's another company car. That's cool. Yeah, so um, Cincinnati, the state line is divided by the uh, river, which we're gonna, we're gonna go explore once we uh, get up there. Uh, so sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy your ride. Oh, look, there's, an, there's another one of us. I wonder who that is, okay. One thing I do notice about Cincinnati is there's, there's a lot of trucks, like trucks everywhere. Uh, I think that's because uh, Cincinnati has a lot of uh, shipping hubs. Um, a lot of distribution centers are based out in Cincinnati. I know my company operates heavily out of here. We have a you know, huge um, hub here. Um, so does uh, Amazon. And, um, I believe the uh, Fresh Direct also have another one of their um, distribution centers here. So you know, it's it's a uh, it's wild. It's a lot of trucks. It's almost like uh, the entire city or the entire place. It's it's um, built up on just you know shipping and uh, supply chains. And also, you know, with that, there's a lot of um, I really do believe that it is the airline industry, you know, from the Cincinnati airport that is keeping this place uh, so so vibe, you know, so, so vibing and, and continue to develop. And as we continue to go, you're gonna see a lot of uh, new developments being set on uh, on this land here. A lot of new apartment complex, a lot of luxury rentals are coming up from here. Um, that's because of all these industries uh, are kind of having people from other states moving in. I know uh, Gen General Electric GE Aviation is here. Um, I know Honeywell had a facility here. And um, uh, Coca-Cola has one of the distribution centers here. That's to say, uh, I would say this place is pretty, pretty popping. Well, at least I didn't get pretty popping. If it wasn't for the uh, aviation industry, I, I really think that this place would be a ghost town. There you go. That's Cincinnati. We're about to cross over the bridge that uh, bring us over to the other side of the river, which is the uh, Ohio side. And this is the river that divides the uh, city between Kentucky and Ohio. Um, the lower level looks like it's going to be a northbound traffic. And then the uh, upper level is going to be uh, southbound traffic.
arrived. I'm here to get my smoothie. Holy shit. This is disgusting. After that disappointing smoothie, I decided to continue my exploration deeper into the city of Cincinnati. As I'm making videos and I thought came across my mind. I doubt anyone's gonna watch the full length of this video, but there's one person who will guarantee that um, we'll watch from the beginning to the end. And that's my girlfriend Genevieve. So Genevieve, if you're watching, I love you. You're always a number one fan. I appreciate you so so much. I love you. Yeah, just a thought. And for whoever else was watching the entire thing, carry on. Good for you. Yes, thank you for watching. Um, I will continue to see what's good around here. It is currently about 9.45 at night. Uh, tonight, you it might be a lot more people than usual because there's a there's a baseball game going on by the, by the stadium. That's why you, you see the amount of cars and traffic there, is, but I'm sure on a regular night it's probably not this busy i think i'm in a residential neighborhood uh, next to a zoo well you can actually see the zoo from here that's one of the cage uh, i believe uh, this might be a middle class neighborhood well it's kind of hard to say i'm not sure really hard to tell it doesn't have that you know it's not as distinct as New York of like what kind of uh, people live where So by the end of the night, I decided to head back to Cincinnati Airport CVG to do some plane spotting before heading back to the hotel.